Well, let's understand lights today. To control all the functions in the headlamp, use this left button on the top. First click activates the low beam, which is indicated with this green symbol. Second click activates the high beam with this blue symbol. Third click will turn off all your lights. This is how it works in the park mode. To turn on the halo lamp, we need to hold this button for 2 seconds and it is indicated with this green symbol. This is how it looks from the front. Once you start your scooter, your low beam is turned on. This left key is about the high beam and low beam. If you want the halo lamp to turn on, press this for 2 seconds and hold it. And you can see this halo lamp symbol here. If you want only the halo lamp to turn on, the only way to do it is in park mode. Hold this for 2 seconds. Once you power your scooter, by default your low beam is on. Low beam is the right projector from the back. High beam is the left projector. So when you use the high beam, which is the blue light here, both your projector turn on. When you are in low beam mode, only the right projector is turned on. And this is the default projector no matter what. And to turn off the halo lamp, press this for 2 seconds. Turn off, there's no light. By default to turn on, your low beam is on. This is the DRL. And according to the government rules, you need one light for sure right now. So whenever we are in drive mode, the right projector is by default there. You cannot turn this off. And you can see these are the indicator buttons. This is how the front indicator looks. The LED itself is orange with a clear glass on it. Unlocking the scooter. By default when you turn on your low beam and your brake lights turn on. But whenever you engage the brake, the brake lights get brighter. It is the same with the front brake and the back brake. Indicators right this is how the indicator looks on the brake lamp left we have to use the same side button to turn it off that's it for this one guys catch you in the next one